has laid out his budget request in the mayor's office. He's asking for a $6 million increase as well as adding 40 new officers. This morning, the Jacksonville Community Action Committee is calling out the proposed increase from JSO. News for Jacks reporter Brittany Muller joins us now live from JSO with more on what the activists want and also more information about what's included in this budget request by the sheriff. Brittany? Jen Bruce, good morning. Funding for JSO already takes the biggest share of the city's budget. Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams has requested more than $481 million for next year's budget. Meanwhile, activists with the Jacksonville Community Action Committee says JSO's budget should be slashed and they're asking and demanding for more transparency from the department. As protesters across the country are calling for the defunding of police departments, Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams is asking for more than $481 million for the next fiscal year. That's an increase of $6.1 million than what the department is getting in the current budget. On Sheriff Williams' wish list, hiring 40 new officers and an additional more than $5.5 million going toward patrol costs. The current climate's not helping that, and I'm, I have a concern moving forward about what that's going to do to recruiting yeah. across the board for us. But, uh, but we're working hard to try to push back against all those Obviously, those negative narratives. The sheriff wants an increase of more than $1 million for corrections. He says there's a shortage of 100 corrections officers, and he's ready to hire 25 more. But the Jacksonville Community Action Committee says the proposed budget increase comes at a time while JSO is, quote, under intense scrutiny from the community due to the high amount of police killings of civilians this year and the brutal repression of peaceful protesters in Jacksonville following the George Floyd killing as well as general lack of accountability and transparency. The activist group wants to cap JSO's budget at 20% of the city's budget share today. Right now, the group says money for JSO takes up nearly 40% of the city's budget. The JCAC organizer sent out this statement. Instead of JSO getting a budget increase during a time of such economic insecurity and siphoning needed resources from the black community, a large portion of their budget should be reinvested back into the community to deal with poverty and inequality. The JCAC AC is calling JSO's budget a slap in the face for those who have been protesting against what they call JSO's lack of accountability and transparency after the announcement of at least 20 inmates testing positive for COVID-19 at the Duval County Jail. The JCAC is planning a demonstration to take place this Saturday at 3 p.m. in front of JSO right behind me along Bay Street in addition to other organizations based here in Jacksonville. They are calling for the release of more inmates to stop the spread of COVID-19 in the Duval County Jail, denouncing the current JSO budget proposal and implementing a Jacksonville Police Accountability Council. We will have crews there this Saturday at 3 p.m. to keep you updated on the very latest. Reporting live this morning from downtown Jacksonville, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.